This is a Hallicraft SSX 28. I'm just been uh, recapping this. Uh, so uh, it's around about 30 paper caps, I think, and for Lettel Addictions. Uh, and this set, some of them in the RF section are really hard to uh, change, but they're being done. I'm sort of hiding under all that wiring in there, trying to get some light in. See it? The, uh, the antenna section is the worst. And the other ones aren't too bad, just a little bit awkward. And there's no paper caps in the local oscillator section here. Um, there's one paper cap above the chassis. I can't remember if there's any in the IF cans or not. I haven't opened them up yet to have a look. I might do. This is in reasonable cosmetic shape. And uh, switch it on. I've got it um, plugged to a pair of computer speakers uh, into the headphone socket. Because the output impedance of this, I think, is 500 ohms. I haven't got a 500 ohm speaker handy, so switch it on. Voltage is comp, about 300 volts HT. So I've got it on the broadcast band. It sounds a bit rough. In terms of what they're going to try to claim, because from what they claim so far, that they're being discriminated against, certain things like that. So, you know, I think we're going to see the sign for the developer of the trailer, what they're trying to avoid in the country. So, the freedom of contract, so it looks like they are going to be evicted on Thursday. But I guess just in terms of what's going on, percent of that, I think the IF is completely out of whack. Because, you know, we'll. It's a very strong local station there. A few feet of wire on it as an antenna. So that's what it's picking up. Deaf as a post. <laughs> Needs some work. Okay, there we go. Hollycraft is SX28. First switch on after recapping. I've got quite a bit of cleanup to do, and uh, all the controls need cleaning and adjusting. And we'll take it from there. I did check quite a few of the resistors as I was recapping it. So most of the ones I checked were all within tolerance. One or two were kind of marginal on tolerance, but uh, I didn't actually change any out. Though some have been changed out by somebody else in the past, and uh, they'd also changed out. Most of the capacitors, most of the paper ones, and there's a box with uh, these awful red things here. Anyway, just thought I'd uh, do a quick video at this stage. I'll do another one later when it's working properly, hopefully. 